student in previous video we saw how we can create virtual agent topic with minimum efforts in this video we are going to see how we can create uh, or how we can configure the multi language support for virtual agent multi language support means let's say the user is a non english speaker then in that case the virtual agent should respond to him into his native language for this we will have to activate the language in which we would like to get virtual agent support so for this we can go to the plugins page on the plugins page we can search the language in which we would like to have the virtual agent support here for the demo purpose i have activated the german language once you activate the language you can go to the virtual agent designer page this is the topic which we have developed in our previous video which is report and it issue in this topic we have use different messages such as please enter short description then we have when did the issue start and so on so we would like to translate these messages into german language if the user speaks german language so for this you can go to the language section this section will be activated as soon as you activate any language and here you can see the languages which are supported for this particular topic now since we want to add the support for the german language we can go to this section and edit and here you will see all the messages which are used into this particular topic report and it issue like please enter the short description when did the issue start please enter the short description again and so on and in the next section we can add their translations so we can add the translations like this you can click on the lock icon you can just pass the translation here and just lock this field again and then click on publish translations so once we publish the translations then this topic is available for the uh, use or this topic is available for the support in that particular language now there is one more section in this topic where we have we or we will have to provide the translations explicitly so if we go back to our flow and this is the activity where we are simply just giving the messages or showing the html format messages so you can go here and you can see here here uh, we are showing the short description text and then issue start date uh, text as well so now since we haven't configured these messages and we have we are showing these messages from the script these messages did not appear in the languages sections for providing its translation so for this purpose to translate these messages as well we can make use of messages table so here you can see i have made use of this function called gs.get message and where the translation for this text is stored i'll show you if you go to the messages table you will see here we have the english version so this is the key and the message for this key is here which is in english language so similarly for this for the same key if we want the german translation then we will have to add one more record with the same key and with the language as german and we will have to provide the translation so let's see how the translations work i'll go to the service portal and in service portal 
now since my language on my profile is english everything i'll be able to see here is in english language and this is the topic which let's say i'm start i want to report an it issue i can select it from here and it will ask me for the enter the short short description so this is how the virtual agent will respond into english language now we want the virtual agent to respond in german language so for this here we can see first he uh, the virtual agent has created the incident for me now i would like to uh, check whether it is working fine with german language as well so i'll go to my profile and i'll change my language to let's say german so virtual agent will pick the language based on the language specified in the user's profile so now if i go back to the service portal then now the virtual agent should respond in german language so if i start the conversation once again here we can see the virtual agent is responding into german language and i'll select again report an it issue then here the virtual agent is asking me to give the short description let's check it whether it is correct or not so here we can see the virtual agent is asking for the short description so what i'll do is i'll give the input in german language once again so let's say i'll put say something like I'll put the short description here. Then again, virtual agent is asking when did the issue start. I'll select any random date and time. And here we can see the short description and issue start date is also translated here. And this is my short description and issue start date. And then we have the option to edit the sh either the short description or the issue started or the third option is all the information is correct if i click on the third option it will create an incident and this is how the virtual agent will respond me in german language so this is how we can set up different languages uh, of course the languages which are supported by service now platform uh, we can have a uh, virtual agent support on, uh, in only those languages and in next video we are going to see how we can enable the natural language understanding for virtual agent thank you